Yo, what is up, everybody? And this is really happening. We are with Denny Tice as he is about to make history, passing Wilt Chamberlain as the all-time leading scorer. And for some reason, they say we broke the record here, but we really didn't. As you know, the record is 100 by Wilt Chamberlain in 1960 something. We have 98, so we're not there yet, and we're not even there to the win yet. We haven't even clinched this game yet. These Mavs are only down by what six points after that jumper, seven points. OJ Mayo making that, but here we go. They were playing the most atrocious double team ever, which is where most of my shots came from. And as odd as this may sound, as we go for the record right here and break it with the tough layup over Jason Kidd, um, I wasn't even trying to break the record. When I, when I came into this game, I was not even trying to break the record. I had put on the microwave signature skill for the first time in a really long time. I had it somewhere near the beginning of the season, and then I replaced it with the closer. And I put back microwave, and I was like, okay, I'll test it out and see how it goes. And early in the game, I got hot. I was making a lot of stuff in the first half. So, you know, that's just the way to fold the game one. As you see, I only have six assists. That's way below my season average of, like, 20, which is a ridiculous average. That's how much we average, usually. But, um, below that, I was mainly looking for my shot. Once I realized the flaw I was in, I was like, all right, might as well just keep shooting it. Why not? And that's the way the game went. So, like I said, I was not even trying as odd as it sounds. So, um, we're, we broke the record nonetheless, and we're just trying to finish out this game and hopefully win it because we at least want to win. And this is the second to last game of our season. Uh, we played the Clippers and lost, and then we came here and we almost hit the step back jumper, jumper over Dirk. <laughs> but, um, Amino Queens up the board. That's a pretty big play in this game. But, um, yeah, we lost to the Clippers and then we play a back to back to the Mavericks. And this is the first game in the back to back. The second game in the back to back, I'll show in a sec that we won. But, um, this first game was close, so. We had to battle that and look at listen to these listen to these fans man listen to these fans MVP chance you know what I think this game might be the game that solidifies Denny Tice as the league's MVP even as a rookie Denny Tice I believe this should be the game that puts him over LeBron and all LeBron KD Kobe whoever wants to challenge not going to be able to top this not going to be able to top the guy who set the record for most points scored and we're still going we're still going it's good we got to 100 doesn't mean we stopped they're still playing this atrocious double team and I want to emphasize this is on Hall of Fame this is not on rookie sophomore um superstar none of that stuff it's on Hall of Fame I've been Playing on Hall of Fame for most of the season. I did Superstar a little bit during early during the season because we kept on losing, but we've been playing on Hall of Fame, and this was on Hall of Fame, and we're cherry picking here. We're getting points in every way possible. I did take a lot of shots, but I was just, uh, you know, I'm testing out so during the playoffs, like I said last video, and that's just the way to fold the game one. We almost knocked down this three point to give us 117, but Aminu cleans up the boards. You see how this, this is a ridiculous double team? I mean, that's just a horrible game plan by the Mavs, and Dirk and Kamen, none of them won the play in the paint, so. That was that, and coach takes me out for the last 10.3 seconds so I can leave with a standing ovation from my New Orleans Hornets, my people in New Orleans right now. They gave me a standing ovation X in now, they're chanting all kind of stuff, they just watch history made, you see Denny clapping and um, that's, that's the way this game went, and we won the next game against the Mavericks, and that ended up taking us to the playoffs, and I'll be showing, you know, a few of these... Uh, what do you call a few of these stats after the game just to show you how the game went because I didn't have the um in-game highlights I only recorded starting the fourth quarter. I didn't plan on recording this game But I thought really I was about to make history. I was like I might as well record this. Why not? See I got a ton of coins from this game it wasn't even a um, key game I still got 800 and something so I broke the record you can see the, um I took 77 shots That's a ton of shots, but it was just, that was just the nature of the game. I was messing around I mean, I wasn't taking this game that seriously and, um, yeah, so I'm going to take you to the uh, press conference real quick, and then we're going to do a Hall of Fame verification check. Well, congratulations on breaking the NBA record for points scored in a game. That's a pretty incredible feat. You have now surpassed some of the legends in the history of this league. How does it feel to be in their company? Well, thank you so much, first of all. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. It, it's hard to describe. It was just one of those days where my shots were hitting. I felt invincible out there. Okay, so, okay, so as you can see, I, um, what do you call? I checked the time. This is the K-Spade method, by the way. You, might, might, you guys might have seen K-Spade do it. I'm checking the Xbox Live dashboard or whatever showing you what time it is and as you can see no time elapses from the time that we did all that to we're loading up the screen now and i'm about to show you the settings to where we're playing on hall of fame 12 minutes default 
we got that done. Hold on, hold on. It takes like 10 years for this game to lower. He's doing all its auto saving. We're getting dynamic goal bonuses, all kinds of stuff. But there we go. Hall of Fame. Got it? Got it. Don't doubt me. We're on Hall of Fame. Oh, look at this. These haters on Twitter, not one of them mentions it. They're all talking smack. Even Chris Paul after we lose to the Clippers. But they, they don't say a thing about the fact that we broke the record. But um, here's the final 10 seconds of the game. I recorded this just so um I rec record this and then the po um postseason stuff. Beginning um trying to get ourselves ready for the postseason. We are the number one seed as Bo Bro tries to take this in. We blew him out this time. I have a nice scouting report on these Mavs though. I mean, they beat us last time we played them, but in this back to back we had we had their number, especially Denny. Back to the press comments, by the way. Kept coming up as your teammates talked about the key elements in the win tonight. How does it feel to hear that they had such positive things to say about your play? It's great, man. These guys know I'm out there putting myself on the line every night because all I want to do is win games. They expect it from me, and I expect the same level of hard work and dedication from them. That's what's special about this team, though. We're all here to win, and we're going to do whatever it takes to make that happen, just like we did tonight. So yeah, we had the Mavs figured out and all that. And look at as soon as we finish the game, we leave. Look at all the stuff we get. We got ourselves on another magazine, a nice little endorsement deal. And this is the icing on the cake. Congratulations on your first MVP award. Yes, Denny Tice, the MVP. Whoo, man, yes. Hey, I, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. Especially from the way we started in the Rookie Showcase. The 2-17 Bad News Hornets. Now, I'm about to make my own shoe, which you guys won't see, but you guys will see in the first playoff game. I'm getting bombarded with a bunch of stats. PER over 30. Yeah, I think I said the all-time record for PER. Won the scoring title. Led the league in assists. I think it was, yeah, led the league in steals. Led the league in three-pointers made. Top 10 and all this stuff. So, we're like halfway to the Hall of Fame. Um, We can retire as a Hall of Fame. We're halfway there. So, that's cool. That's cool. And, um... I just want to show you guys a few more stuff. I want to show you guys the stats at the end of the season. Just show you what I average compared to what the top guys average. Some of the all NBA team people. You see Denny's the all NBA point guard. Kyrie was all right up there too. Kobe made second team because of what we did. Uh, we didn't make any defensive teams. But we did make all rookie first teams. So that was cool. Me, Damian Lillard. Um, we got Anthony Davis on the first team. And yeah, that was that. And you see this player to game, player to month stuff. And finally... Okay, hold on. We got more stats. We got more stats here. 39.5 points per game, 19.6 assists. I was averaging over 20 before those last two games when I kind of went into ball dominant mode. But, um, our field goal percentage went to 58, three pointer 48. Really good averages. Uh, free throw was like the best, I think. And now we show the playoff stats. This is what I'm going to leave you guys with. We're getting ready for playoffs. And after that press conference, I don't know about you guys, but Denny is ready for the playoffs. So. Let's go, baby. Bring it on, Memphis. Bring it on. Okay, I'm kind of not... I'm kind of worried about playing Memphis, but, um... Because they gave us problems. They gave us fits, but... We're taking on Memphis next video. I'll catch you guys then.